Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and today I'm doing another kit organisation video. Um, this has been prompted by a recent um, trip I've been on, the Pendle Hill uh, SHTF weekend overnighter, wild camp, and uh, the fact that I carried 25 kilograms up a 550 metre uh, hill proved to me that that is just way too much kit to carry. Um, halfway up I had to stop, I was in a bad way and it was, just wasn't good, it wasn't enjoyable going up the hill um, and it just made me think when I got back um, I weighed my pack and it was 25 kilograms um, which is just ridiculous, it was too much to carry so what I've decided to do is I've decided to go through all my kit and um, go through like in sections like the brew, brew kit, look at the brew kit, weigh it uh, make a note and then go through all my other bits of kit and see if I can reduce the weight to um, just make it make just make life easier for me really and I'm going to do that with each element of my kit like the sleep kit, the brew kit, the cook kit I just want to try and reduce the weight just to uh, just to make life a lot easier so that's what today's video is all about so what we'll do now is we'll go off and we'll, uh, we'll look at the individual uh, pieces of kit and uh, see how we can reduce some weight. Okay, this was the uh, this was the basic brew kit that I took with me on the uh, on the recent uh, overnight wild camp. I've got the army pouch, utility pouch there. I've got the Crusader cup, the metal cup. I've got the plastic cup, the BCB Crusader cook uh, cooker there with the fire rope. I've got the heavy duty uh, NATO lid. For the Crusader Cup, fire steel, spork, um, a little wooden spoon that I've made, and in the little brown pot there, that's my uh, scourer for just cleaning the cup out after I've uh, cooked some beans or pasta or whatever in the Crusader Cup. And that weighed in at 1.16 kilograms, which uh, which I was quite surprised about. Really, I thought that was quite a lot. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and change a few elements of this piece of kit and uh, see if we can bring the weight down. Right, okay, so there's the, uh, there's the brew kit that's weighing in at 1.16 kilograms. Now, the first thing I'm going to look at is the actual uh, cooker itself, the BCB cooker. What I decided to do was uh, remove that from the equation because um, the actual BCB cooker weighs in at 197 grams. That's 197 grams, so I took that out and I replaced it with the Trangia Triangle. Um, now I have done a little modification on mine. I've got a little, um, that's an old grill off a PC fan and uh, that just fits over the top of there nicely and the Crusader Cup then sits on there if you do it the right way around fits on there quite good and it's nice and nice and sturdy. So I thought I'll swap that out because the actual Trangia Triangle itself with the um, modification is only 131 grams compared to the BCB cooker which is 197 grams but that doesn't include the burner um, with the BCB cooker I've got the fire rope which I just put mess in the bottom of there and I'm good to go with this I don't have a, an actual burner so what I've got is obviously with the Trangia Triangle is the Trangia Burner now this has got some meths in it so it is slightly heavier than normal but with the um, with the additional Trangia Burner that takes it up to 312 grams which is then heavier than the BCB cooker but if I was to swap that out for a pop can stove um, that whole thing then only weighs 142 grams so straight away by changing the BCB cooker for the Trangia Triangle and the pop can stove I'm then saving uh, 55 grams so there's a bit of a saving there and every little helps so that's the that's the first addition for now 
that I'm going to make, which is saving me uh, 55 grams. So that's the uh, that's the first change I'm going to make. Right, so that's the new new brew kit with the Tranji Triangle, and that's uh, that's now weighing in at 1.1 kilograms. But then I started thinking, just just to try it, let's just see how much the Tranja weighs. Now this is the uh, Tranja 25, I believe it is. It's the uh, it's got a frying pan, it's got two billy cans. I've got a kettle in there. I've got the burner. I've got the pot handle. I've got a lighter, and obviously the actual cooker itself, the cooker unit, all in one compact. Um, thing there, roughly the same size in volume, and uh, I thought, right, how much does that weigh? This was 1.1 kilograms. This weighs 1.1 kilograms. So I thought, hmm. Now the only thing that hasn't got is um, a cup. Um, I use the BCB metal cup to cook in, and I use the plastic cup for um, making the brews and stuff like that. I pour my brew into the plastic cup. So if I was to add a plastic cup to that, um, I've got a kettle in there for boiling the water, it's not going to be much more than what that is. But that gives me more options for cooking. Um, so that is something worth thinking about. So again, just looking into your kit, I'm taking a few... Uh, weight measurements can throw up a few surprises and I'm actually quite surprised at that I thought that would be heavier than what that is and that gives me more option so that is now something else for me to think about okay the next thing I want to look at is pegs um, this is something quite a few people uh, make changes on there I've just got four four steel pegs these are the kind of pegs I use for pegging out my basher or my Dutch army bivvy and those four steel pegs weigh 91 grams now, if I was to swap them for these, which uh, I have been using, they're the aluminium ones. Four pegs again, and they just weigh 66 grams. All right, it's only a saving of 25 grams, but more pegs, more savings, and you know, all the weight that you're saving all adds up. So that's 25 grams saved there just by changing the style of peg. Um, that I'm using so if I was to invest in a few more of them and get rid of all my steel pegs then I'm going to save myself a bit of weight there as well right on to the next item of kit now as you all know I'm a self-confessed uh, fan of the bungee um, they're quick easy to use you can set up tarps really fast and um, they give in the wind um, I just like them, I do like using the bungees but I thought I need to look into it um, because if I can save weight then it's a good thing now <clears throat> just for the purposes of this video I've got four bungees there in my bungee bag that's what I use for keeping all my bungees together along with my pegs so that is just the bungee bag and four bungees and that weighs in at 473 grams so I thought right get rid of the bungees and replace them with four paracord guy lines which have the uh, rope which have the guy line tensioners on them which you've seen on a previous video do the same job they still give a bit of uh, expansion in movement when the tarp's set up and it's windy but um, I'm pretty sure they're going to be a lot lighter so again I've got four four attachments, four guy lines there in the same bag and that weighs in at 179 grams compared to 473 grams so there's nearly a 300, 300 gram saving there so uh, that is something definitely to, uh, to think about okay this might take a bit more time and a bit more effort to set up than the bungees but um, if I'm going on a trip where weight is uh, going to be an issue then that is something I definitely need to uh, have a think about and it's not something I've really addressed before I took bungees away with me uh, on the recent trip the wild camp trip and I used them and they were great 
but if I'd have taken the guy lines then that would have saved me a lot of weight so um, again it's worth thinking about okay that was just a brief look into how you can uh, save weight just by looking at different aspects of your kit there's lots of other areas you can look into like your sleeve system or your clothing or stuff like that but this was just to demonstrate how you can save weight just by looking at different uh, different parts of your kit and um, you saw how I save weight on the pegs the bungees just using the paracord uh, the brew kit I've just um, altered that slide to save a bit of weight and uh, I've even incorporated the Tranja instead of the whole brew kit which gives me um, a lot more option for cooking with no uh, with no loss of weight so uh, no gain in any weight sorry so uh, that's that's something for, worth looking into now these are areas I wouldn't normally have looked into and uh, all in all just by changing those few little things I've saved about 400 grams there all right it might not be a lot but again looking into other areas of your kit you can save a bit of weight here and there and it's all going to uh, it's all going to make life a lot easier for you so I hope that was uh, of some use um, if you've got any comments or any other ways you think you can save weight please let me know uh, because after my last trip I'm, I'm looking to save weight where I can so uh, please do leave your comments I hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video